Hello and welcome to Attention Central Texas. I'm your host, Charles Jenkins, and today in the studio we have a special guest, Ms. Tammy Mosley, and she's the Crime Prevention Coordinator for Colleen Police Department. Hello and welcome to today's show. Thank you very much for having me. Yes, ma'am. Uh, let's just get right into talking about the, uh, what you're here for and tell us a little bit about who you are. Well, I'm Tammy Mosley, as you said, the Crime Prevention Coordinator for the Police Department. Mm -hmm. I have been with the Police Department for 30 years. Oh, right. And I do the community relations programs, one of which is National Night Out, which is what I'm here to speak to you about today. Okay. And uh, let's just jump right into that. Tell us a little bit about uh, what's National Night Out and how it started, all the great stuff that go along with National that. National Night Out is a nationwide crime prevention program and it's celebrated the first Tuesday in October annually. Okay. And it's where we encourage residents from whatever community they're from to get out, lock their doors, turn on their outside lights and meet their neighbors. Oh. And, and again, you know, this is the 35th one. Wow. And so we, we really want those neighbors to get away from getting home from work and just going in the house and we want them to get outside and meet their neighbors. It's so important to get to know who you live around mm -hmm. and get to know your neighbors as well as law enforcement. Well, and it's sad that we have to pick a day to do that because I think people should do it naturally. And I mean, I'm thinking a second, Okay, I know all of my neighbors and probably several other people that's on the street. And uh, I like it because one of the things it does for us whenever we go on vacation, they look out for our house and we do the same for them. So um, what has it been like? What have people been saying about the National Night Out? Well, National Night Out is a great program and it's, we've always gotten such positive feedback. And exactly what you're speaking, it's a catalyst for the formation of Neighborhood Watch, mm -hmm. which is another great neighborhood unity program. But with this program, this is one night aside that we set aside where we also have all the law enforcement out. And the block parties that register with me will get visits from the police department. We wow. partner with the fire department because what kids don't like to see fire trucks and ambulances. <laughs> so uh, they'll get visits from the police department, the fire department, uh, city staff, uh, the mayor, the city manager, the council members come out and join us. So this is just really a night to get out there, not only meet your neighbors, but n get to know the police department mm -hmm. that protects and serves you, as well as the city officials. We have our SWAT team out there, our traffic wow. unit, our motorcycle officers. <laughs> so you name it, we're out there at those block parties that night. Now, uh, how, I know you say you've been there for 30 something years. How long have uh, you been involved with National Night Out? I became the crime Since prevention coordinator in 1996, and so that was our first year participating, wow. so 22 years. All right. <laughs> as soon as I became the crime prevention coordinator and I heard about this program, I said, you know, that is a great program. It's a community outreach program mm -hmm. where, again, you're not calling the police and getting them to come out because your house has been broken into you or your car has been broken. This is just a night where it's all about positive. That's good. We're out there to visit with the children, find out what we can do to help them and encourage them them to, you know, go down a good path in life and, and we're there to get the, to know the neighbors and know their problems and concerns as well. So since we're talking about it, uh, I know people are watching us. So what would you say to the person or to the family sitting on the couch who maybe haven't been involved in uh, one of these in their community? What would you say to to get them out to get involved. That this is a great opportunity, again, to not only get to know your neighbors, but to know the police department and the fire department that serve you. We, so, like you spoke about earlier, so many times now we're so busy with our lives mm -hmm. that we get home from work, we go in the house, we cook dinner, shut our doors, and we don't take that time to get out to know our neighbors. And our neighbors are the ones that are going to be watching what's going on around our surroundings mm -hmm. when, you know, we're at work or away from our home. Like you spoke about, they can keep an eye on the house when we go on vacations or go out of town. So clean is very transient. And I always tell mm -hmm. the residents, whether you live beside your neighbors for six days, six years, six months, whatever the case is, it's so important to get to know those neighbors. We've had such positive outcomes from people that get to know their neighbors. And if there is a crime in their neighborhood, they step up and they're, they're able to assist the police with what they might have seen around That's that good. area. So. And the, um, I think people don't just realize how important it is on so many levels, not just the, 
not just the, you know, some people may think it's being nosy, but just knowing your neighbors and getting to know people. And yeah, exactly, and like you said, it's not being nosy. It's just paying attention to your yeah. surroundings and what you would want your neighbor to do for you. That's it, right. You know, you just return the favor. You just keep that extra eye out. If you see somebody that might need assistance with something, step up and ask them how you can help them, especially with us being a Fort Hood town. Mm -hmm. So many deployments and things yeah. of that nature. What, um, so this is the whole Colleen? This is all of Colleen, yes, wow. sir. <laughs> What uh, in in the past, from your experience, uh, have you gotten any feedback from people just saying, man, this was awesome, we need to do it more, anything, any stories like that? Oh, yes, definitely. And I have uh, actually neighborhoods that have participated since early on in 1996 when we started our first one. So that is the kind of event that, you know, stands out in people's mind. Mm -hmm. And so I've, again, got those residents that have participated every year, as well as every year just through word of mouth and advertisement, getting new residents that want to participate. Mm. And the block parties that they plan can be anything from small gatherings with just a few friends and family and barbecues. Mm -hmm. uh, we've had block parties that go all out. They oh, do my. live music, live bands, car shows, rent the moon bouncies for the oh, kids. My goodness. So it can be as small as they want it to be or as large as they want it to be. And no matter the size of the block party, the important thing is they're, they're out there getting to know those neighbors. Mm -hmm. And if they've lived in the same area for you know several years and already know their neighbors, then it's just a night to come out, get together, and have a great time. I think that is, uh, I think it's awesome. And I heard you use the word together a lot. And yes. we live in a time where I think more important than ever, people need to come together and see. I may look different from you. I may have different beliefs than you, but there's nothing I think that should hold us from coming together and getting to know one another. Because when stuff do happen, you have people there. If someone die in the neighbor's family, I know we had, you know, our neighbor's son died and people came and gave food and just, just because it's easy when family are there, but in the times when family are gone, we're still doing stuff for the neighbors. and. It just makes them And isn't that wonderful? Yes, that, that is yes. just so wonderful that you've got neighbors that step up and do that. Oh, yeah. And my neighbor, uh, we exchange. I know he works a lot, so I'll cut his grass. But he, he know when I'm out of town, our grass is cut. And they're like, why you do that? Because that's what neighbors that's do. That's what neighbors do. <laughs> yes. That is exactly true. What, um, what are some off-topic kind of a little bit? But what are some ways people can keep their homes safe uh, that you just want to throw out real quick? Well, we do um, community sur serv security surveys, um, and I can also come out there and inspect their homes and tell them about different lighting, mm -hmm. different locks that will make their home sc more secure, security systems. Something as simple as keeping their shrubbery and their bushes trimmed down where if somebody's trying to break in their door or the window and they see a car coming down the street, that they can't, it's not so high That's that they good. can't. Plus, if your home looks <coughs> neat and cleaned up, it's going to be less th of a target than a home that is overgrown with shrubbery and bushes. That's going to be an easier target. You would never think that. <laughs> exactly. exactly. And, and to be honest, until I got into crime prevention in 1996, there's a lot of things that I didn't think about either. Something as simple as leaving your garage door up when you get home from work. That invites these, you know, burglars and stuff to come in and grab lawn equipment and tools and toys while you're right there at home cooking wow. your dinner or watching TV because it's so easy for them just to go in and grab something and walk on down the street. So there's a lot of things that you, like you said, a lot of people don't think about. <laughs> I need to stop that. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I lost my train up, but is there anything I didn't ask you uh, about? National Night Out that you just wanted to share? No, I just, I want to reiterate what an important time this is for all of us to come together um, and, and band together. Because like you stated, it, no matter what we look like, what our beliefs are, this is just an important time yes. in our nation where we all need to come together. We have such a fun night that night, but so much more than that. It's just about the, the police community partnership yes. and realizing that the police are going to be there through the good times and the bad times. And it's so important to get to know those officers that protect your area. And, and uh, I, I think is that part is 
um, is so needed right now, not just in Colleen, but just across the country, because sometimes I've had, I have several people in my family that are officers uh, that, that retired, my uncle passed, but have other people that work for Lawrence. It's the negative uh, stigma, I say, that people have about police officers, and is what people need to know and realize that they are humans just like we are, and you know, uh, they just see a lot more than the other people see. And how many yep. people you know that when we're running away from something, they run to it. Exactly. And it's just, it baffles me sometimes. Exactly. And even with this program, the children, the children mm. that are so part in our, so important in our community, they see the negative mm -hmm. on, on the TV as well. But this night, they get to actually go and interact in a positive manner with the police officers so that they know if something happens or if they ever need help, that those police officers mm. are going to be there. So it's it's a positive reinforcement for children. And Colleen is, so so I know since I've gotten here, it's just gotten it has bigger grown. and yes. bigger. How many officers y'all have, if you can share that? We have approximately 250 sworn officers. Oh, my goodness. Yes. But not all of those are in patrol. We've okay. got, you know, in our criminal investigation division, division and in our other specialized units. So those aren't all working. The and patrol, it's probably so still not, not enough. Yes, definitely. <laughs> well, Ms. Tammy Mosley, I just want to take this time to say thank you so much for what you do and representing the police department and just thank you for your years of service and uh, you're, you're greatly appreciated for what you do and the police and just just thank you for what you do and thank you for setting aside a night like you guys sitting aside a night like this for people to come together because I think it's so important. Well, thank you and thank you very much for having me where I can share this important, th like I said, this is a great program and I'm so proud to be a part of it and share it with you. Yes, ma'am. And thank you, our viewers, for tuning in to Attention Central Texas.